I got gum stuck in my chest here. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. First time eating sushi on this channel. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one today. Hope you guys are doing very well. Uh, this is a inaugural first time and very obscure video for my channel because some of you may well know I don't really love things from the sea. They don't really agree with my palate. So to keep it 100% with you because on this channel I do tell my truth, um, I've in my life probably had like two single pieces of sushi in my life, I swear to God. So I've never really gone, gotten a whole sushi experience and just gone through and tried to just really eat it myself. I've had a couple pieces in my life and every time I've just kind of been very meh, like very either either grossed out or unimpressed. Uh, never something I wanted to gravitate towards to or just be a repeat cu customer of. So today I want to push myself outside these boundaries and uh, just, just make an attempt at, at trying to enjoy some of this. Now I will say this, I did play it a little bit safe. Everything on this board is cooked, okay, so I'm not doing it raw. I don't do it raw. Well, I mean, sometimes I do, but we're not talking about sushi. Anyhow, off topic, I do want to get into this and just chill and chat and, um, you know, see where this leads. Before we do anything more, we must pour. So today, because it is sushi, I figured we need the accent of the ginger. I want to keep it light, fresh, gingery, palate cleansing very fountain of truth look at that sprinkling everywhere nice and clean and clear and out of control because that's what this video probably will be in terms of like what's going in my mouth but anyways let's uh see what this thing's made of That ginger could use a little pickling and a little wasabi, but luckily I got that right here behind me. So let's get into uncharted black hoodie territory, okay? I got my sticks, the ones that I ordered specifically from JP. And I don't mean Jurassic Park, I do mean Japan, okay? So in the back, we got the pickled ginger, we got some spicy mayo, I got this unagi sauce I think it was called and we got the wasabi and uh, I'll tell you about each one as I try to try them so let's just go with the scariest one first for me and that one right here is the crab shrimp avocado cucumber and crispy bits on the exterior is what the guy was preaching. So, if I'm gonna do it proper, I guess I gotta have a little pickle gingy. Let's do it like this. A touch of wasabi. That might be too much, I don't even know, because like I said, I don't really know what the f I'm doing here. And they got this little sweet, and, or not sweet and sour, but soy sauce packet. I really should have a soy sauce Dunkin' bowl, but I do not. And uh, let's just go for it. I'm, I'm Loki kind of like scared. I just, oh my god, it's not life. It's not my palate. It's not my palate. But I'm going to rise to the occasion. Okay, it's not bad. <laughs> not so bad it's not as bad as I expected I could definitely use more flavorings from the exterior uh, definitely a little more wasabi for sure because that wasn't really all that much but the roll itself I feel like without the accompaniments isn't like very flavorful it's like rice is pretty plain. I'm actually going to hit this with some mayo too. Why not? 
Like the rice is pretty plain. Um, crab and shrimp don't taste like much. That's my whole thing about sushi sometimes. I'm like, I want like a flavor explosion. And I feel like all of these things are the thing that's actually giving it flavor. Am I wrong in saying that? I don't know. Okay, so that was the one I was most fearful of. It's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's mind changing, blowing anything, but you know, it's pretty good. So these ones fell off the board while I was trying to get a thumbnail because thumbnail stress. But this one, I had to get a crunchy crispy one. This one is spicy tuna. Okay, that one isn't the best looking part. So let's do this one. So this one is the, it was called Flaming Eye. Spicy mayo, a little hot sauce dab, a little sriracha dab. Uh, we have a jalapeno and then it's spicy tuna inside with some other vegetables of sort. But you guys know I had to get a crunchy one. That soy sauce just squirted everywhere. You know what? These chopsticks are not my vibe when I could really just be doing this. Okay, now that one, that's legit. I do like that. I'm gonna try it with ginger and maybe a little drizzle of this unagi. Ooh, if I'm saying it wrong, maybe ugani, my bad. Straight up, I'm giving up the chopsticks. Okay, that one's fire. So this was 24 rolls, or th three rolls, 24 individual pieces. Came to, with tip, $43. So I don't know how that relates to your guys' sushi experiences, if that's expensive or not. Seems reasonable to me, but well, I could be wrong. Um, I'm just hoping that this video is surprising enough and shocking enough to get enough people in here that I can like recoup that money off this video. <laughs> I love it when, honestly, there's, there's some videos on my channel that I feel are so random that I'm like, I, I never expected them to do anything and they've made, like they've recouped the most money. There's earners. Okay, and over here, I played it super white guy safe in case I hated all of this. I was like, I still want to eat something. So I got a beef teriyaki. Just in case I hated, hated my life, you know? Boom, boom. Actually, I do want a little soy sauce. The soy sauce really, I feel like is my MVP hero here. That's good. Certainly not mind blowing, once again. Maybe I'll just have some spicy mayonnaise on this one. But once again, the vegetables are very subdued. Rice is very plain. The beef itself isn't really exploding with flavor. So, 
I just don't get the hype. That's all. I, people just hype sushi up so hard. And I'm like, I guess. <laughs> people out there who love sushi right now are just hating me. I just find it bland. The pickled ginger is a crucial element. Am I doing a massive disservice to sushi by <clears throat> A, eating it with my hand, and B, like, I haven't done it yet. I did actually just try to do it, kind of, but take, like, a half bite. Like, are you, is it, like, a slap on the wrist in sushi culture to like if you don't you know pop the whole roll okay straight up this one's bomb this is a cause I can get behind fried sushi that's where it's at. So while we're here chatting, let me tell you this random shit that just happened to me. Hilarious. <clears throat> I go to go for a shower. I get in the shower. I'm showering. You know, la di da di da. I'm in the hot water having a good old time. Okay. Halfway through the shower, I realize, wait a minute, I'm chewing a piece of gum. Now, I don't know if you've ever found yourself in the shower chewing a piece of gum. But I'll tell you this. Something about it feels very unnatural so I'm chewing this gum I realize halfway th through I'm chewing this gum and I'm like I get all like self-conscious I'm like I don't wait what gum in the shower I don't want to be chewing gum in the shower this is this is weird I don't like this I'm not into this so I'm like get it out Get it out of my mouth. I want it out of my mouth. I go to take it out. Due to the water, the pressure, the everything going on. Pretty sure I have my eyes closed. Basically, I fumble the gum. And while I'm half fumble, I like go to catch it. But I squeeze it and press it into my chest. Now, I'm not one of these dudes who shaves his chest. And I do have a nice amount of chest hair and the gum got in into my chest hair like Lisa Simpson style like in the hair you know what I mean like real style real style shit like I got gum stuck in my chest hair and I'm like oh my god this is a first this is a definite life first. I've never had this happen to me. Why is this happening to me? So I'm like trying to tug it out. So painful. <laughs> so I'm all stressed. Because I'm like, fuck, now I'm going to have to shave my chest. And I don't want to shave my chest. Or at least a one singular patch in it. But then again, I guess it's no big deal. I'm uh, not really taking my shirt off or anything anytime soon. And I don't, you know, I don't go to the beach. I don't live in a beach state. It's, it's freezing where I'm at right now. So actually, it's not that bad right now. 
we're actually getting a climate change winter. It's supposed to be crazy, and it's not even crazy. Like, according to the standard of where I live, by this time, it's supposed to be way more nuts. And we're still actually in the above temperatures, above zero, which is pretty much unheard of for this time of year. I mean, it's fairly obvious that this is the one that I like, so I'm just going to keep eating it. Because the other two are, like, they're just not enjoyable on my palate. This one's just a nice little bit spicy. It's not too crazy. Just got that that fried batter flavor. This one's delicious. There was like chicken teriyaki too. There was some like the sweet sausage roll one. And the whole time I was like in my head like, oh, those are the ones that I, I should be getting because I know those are the ones that I'll probably enjoy. But I was like, no, I got to get some fish ones because I can't be a little bee on the channel, okay? I need to at least face some fears, okay? That's what life's about, facing some fears. You know, try, trying new things and owning up to your fears and then realizing that your fears were actually correct. You don't like it. You knew yourself all along. Call it intuition, call it gut feeling, but you know what it is. I'll say this. I thought I liked this beef more. I really, really thought I liked this beef one more. And it's just not. It's just not. It's not doing what I need it to do. Very mad. Very mad. And I'm sorry if this is this video is bumming you out if you're expecting me to like be loving on sushi I think we knew after the first few minutes in the video probably where this was going to go and probably where it'll never go again This just ultimately confirms for me in my mind that I was right about myself and that <clears throat> moving for forward in the future, I will certainly being, be steering clear of here. It's not for me. And that's fine. To each their own. What floats? Your boats. Okay. I gotta end it there because it's just no longer really enjoyable, if I'm being completely honest. So I'll give these to a family member who, because all my family members love sushi. So once again, odd man out in the palate region of my family. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that little experiment in foods that I intuitively know that I don't like but still try to eat uh, until the next one though you know what to do eat good live well don't burp while you're doing your outro and stay true peace <laughs>